Baltimore Orioles and the Marauders. baseball it's the show and it comes your way next stepping up is Ramon Urias and we are ready for some daytime baseball and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's one and one our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees 89 degrees to be exact at first pitch now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game the third base Next up six. is Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. Hey. In there, and it's 0-1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, hey. attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Cedric Mullins is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Got him swinging, and that's the third. So now into the box is Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Out in front of it, strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. The bouncer to the left side. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. Next to dig in, Ronald Acuna. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hayes is underneath this one. And that's out number two. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Hit to third. Reined in. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The first baseman. That brings up Prince Fielder. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force in the side. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He'll get us started in the top of the second. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now with the plate is Freddie Galvis as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Galvis behind 0 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And He's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Freddie Galvis is sent packing for route number two in the inning. That evens it up one and one. And it's fouled away. And my goodness, how about... Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. High in the air out to center field. Mullins will wait on it. And very quickly, one gone. Next, here is Jared Walsh. First pitch on its way. Well, that's off the plate. Kremer features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. The throw into second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Batting seven. The center fielder. Number 31. So now to the plate, Cedric Mullins. 
as he'll lift it up in the air. This is back behind second. Urias ranges back and he has it for route number two. So here's Adam Frazier, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Adam Frazier. He's set. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Batting none. The pitcher, Trevor. At the plate now, Trevor Rogers. Now a flare out to left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Here now is Trey Turner, and he puts it on the ground to second. On to second for the force out, and the side is And now, Austin Hayes, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word, one away. Pedro Severino comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And there are He's two out. away now. Digging in will be Dean Kremer. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Man, this pitcher is on right now. But we'll have to press ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. And this one's on the inside corner. 1-1. One and, one. and now pitch on the way. Two balls. One strike. Takes this the other way to right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The batter, the catcher, Kyle. At Schwarber. the plate, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber connects and sends a ball to deep right field. Gone! Into the box now. Prince Fielder. First baseman. Prince. Pulled toward right center field. Fielder. Mullins is there and he makes the catch for the out. Nick Castellanos now. Flew out in his only yeah. at bat so far. Come almost, Matty. No, no. Almost went deep his last hey. AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now at the plate, here is Jared Walsh. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. And this is cut on and missed the below the knees, and it's 0-1. Hey, if I'm on the mound, I'm going even further out of zone on this next pitch. And, boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Lined hard toward right center. Mullins finds some space. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ramon Urias as we begin the top of the fourth. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Behind 0-2 now. The ball on two strikes. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. 
And he fouls this one off. Again, a 1 2. Brings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. The third base, number six. Grounded back Ryan up the middle. Turner loves it. Throw in He's time out. at first for route number two. Next up, now Cedric back. Mullins. Number looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh and one. Here it comes. And he gets him to no swing ball. through that one. He's in control. 0 oh and two. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. He's certainly pushing the throttle. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes. Now at the plate, Cedric Mullins. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. I'm interested to see how focused their A.B.s will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there. He got him. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Rogers. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Breaking ball below the zone. Ball, That's ball strikes. one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Trey Mancini, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Freddie Galvis will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. Anthony Santander. Fouled away. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. Good pitch there down below the nope. zone. Okay. Got him to go after it. Hey, offense needs to check it. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Trey Turner. Not shortstop. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Acuna digs in now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Swing, and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Mancini is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Bases are empty here with two away. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Going back to that last at bat, that's not an easy thing to do, to pull a brick. And we'll just leave it there. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Austin Hayes. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Fastball called for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Austin Hayes is retired to kick off the inning. Pedro Severino will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 
struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. DJ Stewart will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. There's a swing and a miss. Ball, says, oh my goodness. He loses the shillelagh on that one. Look out. Aye. Fastball called strike. One and two. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch. Three. And he struck him out. Dylan Tate enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Mountcastle over to his right. Makes the play. One away. At the plate now is Nicholas Castellanos. He's over two in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. Tate. A 25-year-old, he's got a sinker, a slider, a four-seam fastball, and a changeup. High and deep to right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Castellanos takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as they move on top four to nothing. And now Jared Walsh. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. No ball, I can't imagine strikes. that pitcher was trying to put it right over the heart of the plate. Thank God he took that pitch right there. He'd be strikes. getting one back from the umpire. One and two, here it comes. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. And now in the box, Cedric Mullins. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Bunt attempt with two outs. But the throw He's will out. beat him at first. So Seventh inning ready to roll. And set to go is the second baseman, Ramon Urias. First pitch of the ball inning one, is no taken one. downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Ball, and high. maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Yeah. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff Counts hitter. Two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is right there. One down. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. In there at the letters 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Ryan Mountcastle goes down for out number two in the top half. Cedric Mullins stands in as he looks at a called strike. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Got him swinging in the dirt. And Got that him. ends the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings up Adam Frazier. First offering on its way. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The windup and the 0-1. Line towards center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting, the pitcher, Trevor Rogers. Into the box, Trevor Rogers. Squaring to bunt, but this is a foul ball. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw won't get him. Into the box. Trey Turner he struggled at the top of the lineup in this one. Hitless to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that is through into left field. A base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. The right fielder. Waddle Acuna. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Now a... Now back. From the stretch. Here's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And it's going to be trouble. In fact, big trouble as they struggle to get to this thing. Now both runners are across. Schwarber takes the turn at third. He wants it all. The tag, and he's safe as they push their lead to eight now. Now, Pat, first base. Standing in now, Prince Fielder. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. A ball and a strike. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse. Low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Urias backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Next to hit, Jared Walsh. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on the way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Santander looks up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Cesar Valdez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So now to the plate, Cedric Mullins. Squares with two outs and gets it down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it. Ready to begin the eighth, and digging in is the big-time power threat, Trey Mancini, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Fouled off. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Now batting. And now the first pitch. Freddy Galvis is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss on the slider, oh, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Base hit, and the perfect game comes to an end here in the eighth. Now batting, right fielder, Anthony Santander. Liam Hendricks enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Stepping in now, Anthony Santander. No balls and a strike to count. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. 0-1 to the count. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. 
Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the that's day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should So here is Adam Frazier, singled in his last at-bat. The second baseman. First pitch on its way. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Rafael Devers will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh, one count, here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Chasing after it is Santander. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. Frazier is on his way home. He will score as they extend their lead even further. The batter number seven. Shortstop. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. And that's a home run into the top tank. The right fielder, number 13. Ronald at the plate Acuna. now, Ronald Acuna. Acuna. And he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left the yard, and the power hitters are coming up. Again, another foul ball. The one-two. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there and records the first out. Digging in now next, Kyle Pitcher. Schwarber. Already Kyle. a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. As with one away, he can't make contact count. on the first pitch. It's strike one. One and one to Inside, Schwarber. One. A one one. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Through first and hustling for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Salvador Perez will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Line to the right side. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. In now, Nicholas Castellanos. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. On a rope to the second baseman. So now to the plate, Jared Walsh. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch of the A-B now. As he'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. Galvis is there to make the... Dennis Eckersley takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. 
Ninth inning underway oh, now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Ryan McKenna stands in as he looks at ball one here. 2-0 to the Baltimore left fielder. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Ramon Urias is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. And he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. So, no big surprise in this one. The higher division team comes in here and takes care of business. Nice job by them. 13-0, the convincing final score. Washington with a big 17-hit attack. Trevor Rogers earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew on Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Man on first, on second, on third. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I done went yard, they ball gone, the alien beat it up. Man, contract, they want me back. I'm gonna have to green it up like this. Off a critical thought.